Hi, welcome to Nonshape video tutorial. Today I want to use some variables and a pattern and I want to show you some interesting things which you can do with variables. So, let's have fun with Onshape. Okay, let's define some variables. First I need some sort of size, so let's call the size, that's for the radius I want to use or for the diameter. And it should be a length, yes, and for a start I could go for 50 millimeters. Let's confirm this one. Next one would be some sort of start offset. Because I want to use angles, so that start offset will be an angle. And the value might be 30 and confirm. Now the next one would be sort of a scale factor and that scale factor will have to be multiplied with one degree in order to make the units uh, fitting so I want to go for another angle. Usually it would be a number. So let's go for a scale factor and that scale factor might be 20 degrees and confirm. Now I need an increment. That increment would be again an angle. And let's go for 10 degrees. And now I need a counter and that would will be a number go for a number, call this counter, counter, and the start value would be 1. And now I want to reuse that name and that will give me some interesting options. So go for another counter, again it's a number. And that the value would be counter plus one. And confirm. Okay, maybe change the start offset to 20 degrees. And confirm. Next I need a sketch, so let's go for a sketch, maybe on the front plane. Let's start with the circle, right there, and the diameter might be 50 millimeters doesn't really matter and another line which starts here of course it should be for construction maybe like that and of course it should be right there so let's put it there like that trim it here as well and make it symmetric like this to that plane and now I need a dimension and that angle here should be controlled by a formula and that formula will be the following let's start with the start offset start offset and add the scale factor multiplied with the cosinus of the counter 
multiplied with the increment and close those parentheses so let's make that formula visible for you uh, you can't see it like that so let's confirm it double click it and then move the mouse here so you can see that formula so it's the start offset plus the scale factor multiplied with the cosinus of the counter multiplied with the increment and I want to use the same formula so let's select it press ctrl c for copy and put it into the clipboard now I want to go for a revolve so I want to have a surface yes I want to revolve that profile here around this axis but not full I want to revolve it symmetric with an angle and that angle should be again be controlled by that formula so let's put it in there with control V and confirm which gives me that surface here okay now let's add our linear pattern so I want to use a feature pattern otherwise it will not work and I want to pattern that revolve feature this sketch and that counter and in order to make the magic happen you have to activate here that switch apply per instance and of course don't forget the direction and I want to use the right direction and that would be the plane the direction normal to that plane and the distance should be maybe two millimeters and I want to go for 3 times 18 why 18? because the cosinus function will have a complete period with 36 so I want to go for 3 times 18 3 times 18 and confirm this and we've got that very nice shape here let's hide that pattern now that first surface is at the moment a little bit off and I will leave it up to you to correct that small yeah small let's call it lucky accident or happy accident so so I hope you enjoyed this one if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can follow me also on Instagram, Facebook and on GrabCat. And if you search for my models, just go for here in Onshape, go for public and search for, I think I can use uh, asterisks, asterisk underscore WWC and they should appear yeah see and you can copy those parts as well so thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye